this is Fine Finds K688 and there'll be no prizes for guessing what microphone this microphone is styled upon. Let's unpack it, find out about a little trick it's got up its sleeve and most crucially, what it sounds like. So here we are with Fine Finds K688. Compared to this standard dynamic microphone, it is a little bit lighter, but it is heavy enough to give it a reassuring feel of quality. It comes with this supplied shock mount screwed in, and that in turn attaches to your mic stand. It also has a removable pop shield, which may give a microphone of this style a little bit more air, but you will want to use an external windshield to catch those plosives. Flipping this microphone around to the rear reveals its secret weapon. It's got an XLR input, but below that it's also got a USB-C input too, making this a hybrid input microphone. For the USB, it also has a headphone input jack with its own volume control, and a microphone level control too. Currently to capture the audio on this video, I'm using a large diaphragm condenser as an overhead and that's going through a DBX channel strip. I'm gonna bypass all of that, get the fine fine on the mic stand and let's take a listen to what this microphone sounds like. So here we are with the microphone on the mic stand. I'm using the XLR output. It's bypassing my effects and going straight into the camera. So this is what the mic sounds like straight out of the box. Fine Fine recommend that you use this mic somewhere between two to six inches away from source. Now I can't hear what this mic sounds like at the moment, but I did use it the other day when I was making a video and I was really impressed with the clarity and how clear uh, it reproduced my voice. One thing I did notice, however, was in editing that there was one or two more plosives than I would have liked. Where It's sounding a little harsh again um, and I've actually got a little bit of a body boost so I have found that using a separately purchased more heavy duty windshield like this one has done a better job of capturing those plosives than the one supplied, which is a little bit on the thin side. Connecting the Fine Fine microphone via USB-C could not be simpler. I was using Zoom and it recognized the mic straight away. It was super easy to also adjust the input gain and my monitor levels just using the knobs on the underside of the mic. Now once you've connected up to your device, this little light also reveals a very handy one touch muting system. So if you need to kill the audio fast, it's super, super easy. Now when connecting this microphone via USB, something that could have been quite annoying was that if FiFine would have supplied you with a short USB-C cable. I'm really pleased to let you know that's not the case because I have seen it before. This cable is of really decent length. Actually, I think it's over two meters long, so it's gonna be more than ample for most studio situations. So on to price, and if we're gonna compare this mic to say the short SM7B, and let's face it, we're probably gonna, you can buy four of these for the same price and still have change to go down the pub. I think that's pretty impressive. Yeah, this microphone is currently going for under 90 pounds here in the UK, making this versatile, clever little mic a real tempter for the home studio. I certainly know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it when I'm one-to-one -one calling, when I'm sharing my screen, and when I'm live streaming. Five Finds K688, its USB is its USP. That hybrid input connection of XLR and USB-C makes this microphone a very, very useful one to have in a modern studio. You can connect up by XLR, to your audio interface and when you're done recording, hop on a live call, hop on a live stream, connect up by USB-C to your laptop. This microphone is so super useful. Add to that how good it sounds straight out of the box for under 90 pounds. Yes, it has a fair bit of self noise to it, but I'm not gonna be swinging this microphone around my studio. Yes, the pop shield's a little underwhelming, but you can simply remove it and uh, interchange it with a thicker one for not very much money at all, if you wish. If you wanna find out more about this microphone, check out the links below this video. You'll also find down there a 15% off coupon code don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy podcasting, happy recording, and I'll see you next time.